Uh, another important concept that people quite often come across, especially for uh, secondary or rechargeable battery, is so-called C-read, and uh, it also has impact on cell potential and capacity. C-read is essentially the rate of discharge or charge. Quite often, it corresponds to the current level to charge, discharge, or charge a battery. For example, one C. 1C, C reader 1C means the current level that it will take one hour to fully uh, discharge or charge the electrode, half cell, or the entire battery. Okay, that is 1C. It will take one hour to fully discharge or charge the electrode. And uh, a C reader of MC means the current level that it will take one over M hour. Okay. 1 over m hour to fully discharge or charge the single electrode, which is a half cell of the entire battery. For example, if 2C means it will take 1 over 2 which is hour, which is 30 minutes to fully discharge or charge the single electrode of the entire battery. Okay, and C rate is very, very important I mean, for battery performance. And here we show the cell potential. It's the cell potential versus capacity versus capacity at a different uh, uh, charge discharge um, C rate, discharge C rate. And then we are showing this for lead acid battery and equilibrium is around 2.1, 2.05, 2.1 volt. And as you can see, at uh, the higher C rate, this is C over 20, this is C over 4, C over 2, C, and 2C. So C over 20, that's the slowest uh, C rate, which means M is 1 over uh, 20, or it will take 20 hours to fully discharge the battery. On the other hand, 2C, as what we mentioned, M equals to 2, and it will take uh, half of an hour or 30 minutes to fully charge or discharge this battery. And uh, based on what we see from this plot, for the same capacity or state of discharge, for the same state of discharge, uh, the higher C rate going from C, o, uh, C over 20 to 2C, the higher the C rate, we would have lower uh, cell potential, lower cell potential. The higher the um, C rate, the lower the potential, which makes sense because as you increase the current level, as you accelerate the discharge, the both the ohmic drop, the over potential associated with the electrode, and the um, and the um, concentration over potential all increases, and this leads to decrease the cell potential. On the other hand, for the same cutoff voltage, for the same cutoff voltage, let's say we start with the uh, open circuit voltage, and then you discharge the battery to certain cutoff voltage, and below that you would not use to protect your battery. Then, as you can see from here, for the same cutoff voltage, let's say 1.7 volt for this lead acid battery, we see that as the C rate increases, the C rate, remember, C over 20, that means you need 20 hours to charge or discharge this battery. Well, 2C means you need half an hour to charge or discharge. As C rate increases, then you see the available capacity, available capacity decreased from relative 100% or 1.0 to roughly only 40% which is a significant job in capacity. So this is another important parameter for a battery. And ideally, we want the battery that can maintain the capacity at high C rate, or at the same time, we want the, the battery for high C rate to still maintain high voltage. But of course, sometimes you cannot get off it, and uh, you have to uh, sometimes you have to compromise in terms of C rate to get the capacity, okay? And that is a very important parameter, C rate, the, uh, the current level that will take 
to fully charge or discharge the battery within certain time. 1C means 1 hour, MC means 1 over M hour. So this C over 20 C read M equals 1 over 20, and then it will take 20 hour to this one it would be slow charge discharge. On the other hand, this side would be faster charge discharge. Okay, as we increase the charge discharge rate for the same uh, capacity or state of charge or state of discharge, the potential drops at the same time for the same cut of voltage, the higher the C rate, the lower the available capacity. Okay.